It begins. Hey guys, it's Ren. And Lit. I was gonna go into Chain the Monster. You took me off guard. So we are here with Seduce Me Too. You have waited for it for like what half a year? Long time. <laughs> maybe since we even Happy New Year's. Maybe since we even started the first Seduce Me. I don't know. Probably yes. I mean yes, obviously. What am I saying? <laughs> anyway, we're here and we're at two the Demon War, and there's a purple pentagram. Well, it's not all purple. Why do I talk? Why do you let me talk? <laughs> and of course, we're going to start off with our favorite. Sweet, sweet Damien. And he's the black circle, which makes me sad. Do we click? Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, click! Hold on oh there. dear! Before you start the game, what the fuck I need is to she ask wearing? you a few things. Don't want you uh, getting lost what now. The uh, Why first of all, is have you hold on, first hold on. Seduce Why this? Is this? Yes, I've oh, I've played you Seduce Me. Thank do. you. Late. Yep, oh, I know Damien's anyway, shit. Yeah. I have Late, one last question. Latex. No problem. Sure, let's it's hear the trigger pleasure. warnings. Oh, well, how far ahead are this you? This game is recommended for players ages I've been 18 skipping and up. Her. Oh, that's trigger a good idea. Trigger warnings okay, include yes. suicide, war, torture, mentions of rape, and a um, large yep, amount of violence and sexual content. Uh, how far do I skip? Uh, you don't... I've just been going and then clicking show me the trigger warnings. Oh, uh, sure. I clicked sure. Okay. Don't worry, though. Where, Any where should I be? Any sex scene choice you encounter is completely up to you. You can play this game without Hello? needing to go through the sex scenes. Bueller. And still get the good endings. Bueller. Consent is important. Consent is important. Oh, God, everything. Diana's here. You forgot something. Where do I need to be? I'm at for... You forgot okay, something. Okay, I am too. Huh? What did I forget? <sighs> you forgot about the disclaimer. Oh, crap! It's fine, I'll take <laughs> Disclaimer. Thanks, Diana. Now. I do. Where Thanks, is do Diana's not other boo? Me die. <laughs> do not call me anyway, die! We really do hope you like the story. Have okay, bye. Bye, Kay. Bye. Okay, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> I told him I had no regrets. I told Damien that I did not regret for one second that I made a deal with Diana to make him human. I stood steadfast and knew what I was doing. But I still didn't like the choice I had made. Oh boy. Something in my gut didn't uh. feel right about what I did to Damien. Yes, I knew that Diana wouldn't have raped him, but what if she had? What if I gave her permission to do so and I didn't know it? What if he didn't want to go through with it and Diana really did sleep with him anyway? I was mortified at the choice, but I had just wanted him to be happy. Every time he said my name, every, oh, every, I can't understand grammar. <laughs> every time he said my name made me feel so happy. Every time he held me or kissed me was a moment I coughed into my memories forever to cherish. I loved him and wanted him to be truly happy. Damien reassured me that Diana didn't do anything to him, but I could not help but imagine it. And even dream of it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, bastard son, do you truly wish to become human? You know very well that I am capable of making that happen. I will not betray her trust. <laughs> what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Besides, don't you want to be human so you can be with her and not put her in any danger? Stop it! I couldn't stop illusions of what Diana and Damien could have done from appearing in my dreams. Like a scene loomed to repeat over and over. Diana, shrouded in shadow, would loom over Damien and show herself as the evil woman she truly was. Damien, however, would struggle, fight to get away from her. I didn't want to see this, but I was forced to watch the scene play out. Stop it! What makes you think you Okay, can oh. I don't want to experience nope. this. Okay, nope. goodbye. I am going How forward. How do I go? Huh? Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, this looks bad. I don't like. Ah! Uh, I'm there too. Beside me, I heard and felt Damien rise out of bed in response to me waking. Oh, wait a second. What? Okay. 
Is it just me or does it look like Damien's like shrunk a foot? It does. He got cuz he was one of the tallest ones before. He 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 shrunk from stress, okay? <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> Fun fact, I started drinking coffee when I was 10 years old, and since then I have not grown a single inch. Yeah, I didn't start- I'm still as tall as I was when I was 10. I didn't start drinking coffee till this year, so. Yes, but you're like 5'6", and I'm like 5'2", Yeah, I feel very short. Technically, I don't even drink coffee, I drink coffee milkshakes. <laughs> I'm weak. Anyway. Continue. Damien. Where'd your abs go? You look so scrawny. Like a little chicken. <laughs> Beside me, I heard and felt Damien rise out of bed in response to me waking. I looked over at him, seeing him quickly rub his eyes and look at me with worry. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, his eyes got bigger. He's so cute. His eyes are so pretty. I knew he couldn't read my mind anymore, so he wouldn't have known what I had seen. I, uh, hold on, hold on. Rory's being a jerk. Rory! Tell him I said, meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Ren says, meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> he does not care. <sighs> All right. I'm just like, I don't want him bothering Molly. You jerk. All right, he seems fine. Anyway. I knew he couldn't read my mind anymore, so he wouldn't have known what I had seen. I still couldn't help but need to embrace him from the dream I had. Grabbing Damien's arm gently, I began to whimper. Huh? Hey, come here. Damien huh? gently wrapped his arms around my huh? forearm and hugged me hey. to him, huh? petting my back. I let out a weak mule, shutting my eyes and trying not to cry. Damien gently kissed over my head trying to calm me down. Everything's okay. It was just a nightmare. I'm right here. His voice helped me slowly start to relax, knowing that what he said was true. It was a nightmare, not real. I couldn't shake all of the sadness from my mind, but I calmed down enough to not let it control me anymore. Damien gently rocked me, his arms wrapped around my body lovingly. Mm. As he... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting back into the swing of this. As he softly whispered my name, my mind simply melted into a peaceful hum. Oh, our name. You know what time it is? Ah! Laundry time! Everything was okay now. Everything was fine. I looked up at Damien and rubbed my eyes as he loosened his embrace around me. Alright, let's see if I've still got the voice. Let's see! I'm sorry, I just... I just can't stop thinking about the deal I made with Diana. I told you before that it was fine. Honestly, it's nothing to worry about. Damien gently kissed my forehead before pressing his to mine, nuzzling me softly. He stared deep into my eyes with a loving smile, one that made my heart ooze in happiness despite my worry. I cannot He's be so any pretty. happier than I am now. Uh. I'm marrying the woman of my dreams as a human, an actual human. I owe everything to you. Damien. I rubbed my nose. Oh, he's so. <laughs> I want to. I want to pinch his cheeks. I almost said I want to punch his cheeks. I don't want to punch his cheeks. I pinch Do you remember that one like Fairly Odd Parents episode where it's like I could pinch your cheeks and he's like I hope she means my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I rubbed my nose against Damien's, closing my eyes and wrapping my arms around his neck. I knew he was being sincere and was truly happy. I had to get over my fears and deal with it. He was human now, and we were going to be married soon. My heart truly couldn't believe it. I was going to marry to Damien, and we'd live happily ever after together. Oh, Laundry. <laughs> there wouldn't be a second game if that was the case. <laughs> it was so good, I almost couldn't believe the truth of it. However, I was always reminded of the reality of it every time Damien held me in his arms. Damien smiled before kissing my head and patting the bed behind me. Come on. Let's go back to sleep. I'll be right here if another nightmare appears. I nodded and slowly fell back onto the mattress, cuddling up to Damien as he had laid beside me. If the nightmare came back, Damien would be in my arms, reminding me it was all fake and just my imagination. Everything would be all right. 
The night quickly passed by, and the morning sun peeked through my window drapes and landed perfectly over my eyes, waking me up. I stretched and yawned, not wanting to get up just yet. However, the emptiness of the bed next to me made me open my eyes wide, finding no Damien beside me. Damien? I sat up and looked around the room after rubbing the sleep from my eyes. Damien was nowhere in the room, which confused me. Where was he? Oh, good morning. Good morning, darling. I looked over at the door to see Damien holding a tray of breakfast with two plates full of delicious food. In a vase beside my breakfast plate were two beautifully bloomed white roses, which made a soft smile grow on my face. Morning, is that for us? <laughs> yeah. I figured why not have breakfast in bed. You are so sweet, thank you. Damien smiled and sat beside me, placing the tray over both of our laps. The smell was practically intoxicating in the best ways possible. Before we began to eat, however, Damien picked up the TV remote from the nightstand behind, beside him. James's big toy reveal is today. Do you mind if we watch it? Um, sure. I shook my head, eager to see it as well. James had become the CEO of the Anderson Toy Company, so I was curious to see how he was doing and how the company was holding up. Apparently it was rising higher and higher up the top business rankings, and soon it had become one of the top 500 businesses internationally. I was proud of James, but I was more happy to see that Damien seemed to be his number one fan. He was, Aww. Aww. He was always giddy whenever he talked about all of his brother's accomplishments. It was adorable. Damien grinned before turning on the TV and changed the channel to the local news station. It was one of the best news stations out there, and I was not being biased. Anyone who claimed to love Chicago knew it. <laughs> Chicago! Inside joke. Chicago! Chicago. All right, so I don't here we have an interesting is. story to tell. The Anderson Toys Company, an internationally famous toy business, has just recently announced a new line of toys in development. According to the CEO, the line is said to focus on fantasy. Let's take a look at the public announcement. I am more than happy to show off our new line, Fantasy Kingdom, for you all this morning. These toys will not only provide friendship and fun for children around the world, but will help inspire imaginations and let creative <laughs> minds grow. James sounds like he's reading off one of those like TV prompters. I know! I'm like, what is up with this delivery? <laughs> <laughs> I could not help but squeal at what I saw on TV. All lined up in a row were adorable, cartoon-like stuffed fantasy dolls, glimmering broadcasting lights at the TV station. There were knights, royalty, and creatures of all kinds, some not even truly fantasy. Damien, however, laughed loudly ah! at the sight. What? Show tomate kudasai. Okay. Is that your smoke yeah. alarm? Damien, he is more than my friend. We are gonna get married. Maybe he's hairy down there. I'm sorry. Damien, however, laughed quietly at the sight. Huh? What? They're all really cute. They are. Only a couple of them are real, though. Huh? Really? My jaw dropped. Some of the creatures that were represented were actually real. I knew demons and devils existed, but there were more than just them. My mind began to imagine all of the creatures on the screen being potentially real. Damien nodded and pointed to the TV. Vampires are real, but they don't look like that. They look like humans. No way! Do they sparkle? I could not believe it. There was no way vampires existed. What? No way vampires existed? With demons and devils all over the damn place. I don't understand this girl <laughs> sometimes. Damien, however, nodded with a reassuring grin. I promise it's true. Werewolves used to exist too, though they were killed off by the vampires long ago. Hmm, let's see. I looked at the TV to see the vampire doll and the werewolf plush sitting next to each other, being simply cute and stereotypical of what most people imagine them to look like. Damien then pointed to the screen again. There. The angel toy? Angels are real too, only they don't look like yeah, that. Yeah, they look scary. I looked over to see the beautiful gold-haired doll of an angel. They really didn't look like that? I tilted my head at Damien. Nope. 
they look like nightmares. <laughs> yeah. How do how do they look if they're not like that? Well, they look um like the Bible Damien would rubbed describe his them to look, which is like nightmares. <laughs> Damien rubbed his chin, unsure of how to reply. There's a reason they're like, was... be not afraid. I could tell he was being serious and wasn't lying about them looking different, but they seemed to be hard to describe. Damien then shook his head. They look like old statues. It's really hard to say without drawing it out or something. Are you gonna give me some weeping angel bullshit? I'm not, I, didn't, I don't want this Doctor Who bullshit <laughs> get out. I really wasn't in the mood for this Dr. Bo- <laughs> This Dr. <laughs> Dr. Bolt. <laughs> That's me! <laughs> I wasn't in the mood to get up and grab paper and pencil, so I shrugged and let it go for the moment. Damien and I looked back to the TV, seeing the entire line pass by the camera, showing what toys were available. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't make a demon toy like a cat girl or something. I don't. Oh, so she knows about cat girls? It. Though it would be cool to have a demon doll. I guess you're right. They she are for kids, after all. I looked to Damien as he became absorbed in the line of toys. I couldn't help but smile at how intrigued he was. It made me curious. Here we go, bringing up the sad childhood. Wah! Hey, Damien, did you ever have toys as a kid? Damien looked at me in surprise before shaking his head with a slight grimace. Laundry, no, what did you think? Matthew made some for me sometimes, but they were always taken away. Oh! I frowned. I was sorry for asking, but Damien shook his head and smiled. However, when we came to the human world, I actually got one. It was a stuffed kitten. I didn't do anything, but it was fluffy and cute. Oh, you're fluffy and cute. Damien rubbed the back of his head in embarrassment. Must be dumb, huh? A grown man with a cute toy like that? No, it's not it's dumb. It's not dumb. No way. No it's way, cute. it's cute. Damien, his eyes got so tiny. <laughs> Damien stared in shock at me, but I was being serious. It didn't matter that Damien was a man. Cute toys were cute for a reason, and it was okay to think so. Having cute toys is not a bad thing at all. That's what some toys are meant to be. Cute! It doesn't matter who has them or how old you are, cute is cute. It was just a fact to me. However, Damien couldn't help but chuckle softly before bringing one hand to my head and petting over my hair. Pet. 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 You are so adorable, you know that? Uh, huh? I blushed and looked down at the breakfast tray in front of us. I wasn't that cute. Bullshit! I am the cutest! I felt myself rub the back of my neck in embarrassment. Shush! That made Damien laugh and kiss my cheek, forcing a gasp to come out of me. <gasps> I, look <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Damien as he smiled a playful grin at me. It's true. We both turned back to the TV and listened as James explained each toy in detail. I looked over to Damien to see him practically enthralled with the sight of his brother presenting his line. I gently nudged him, making him look back to me. Jeez, you're making me jealous. It's like James is enthralling you through the TV to buy his toys. I, of course, was joking. Damien was very happy for his brothers, especially James. With a raised eyebrow, Damien gent- oh boy. Hmm. Gent- <laughs> With a <laughs> I'm imagining him with like like the the DreamWorks eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With a raised eyebrow, Damien gently removed the tray from our laps, placing it on his nightstand before crawling crawl 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 crawling in my skin <laughs> over my body and making me lay back. <laughs> I stared up at him in surprise as he gave me a seductive smirk. And what if I was enthralled by you? Uh, uh, uh. I was speechless. Damien was full of surprises, even as a human. He didn't have the ability to read my mind, but he knew exactly what to say to make me squirm. Oh my god, Laundry, you're so over the top. <laughs> she really is. Like, he didn't even say anything that... I love you, Damien, I love you. You didn't say anything that amazing and sweet, but not enough to go speechless over. 
But how was he this good? He was human now. Damien chuckled before leaning down and kissing me. Despite him not being a demon anymore, his kisses were always so magical. They each took my breath away each time his lips touched mine. I loved them. I wrapped my arms around him and deepened the kiss between us. Oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Forgetting about what was going on with the toy line. All I could think... Oh, fuck, I read the last line. <laughs> All I could think about was Damien's kiss. He was sweet and passionate, eager to make my body quiver underneath the one kissing me. However, <laughs> the sound of our stomachs rumbling in sync forced us to break away from the kiss and look down at our touching balance. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should eat a bit before we continue That's, this? That huh? was strange. Good idea. <laughs> As much as I wanted to keep making out with Damien, I knew my stomach would keep interrupting, and so would his unless we ate. Um, nom, nom, nom. We ate delicious nom, 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 <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Like the cat video. Yeah. We ate the delicious breakfast Damien made while watching the rest of the news. It was a nice segment, and Matthew even appeared to help during James's presentation. Soon we were flipping channels and watching random shows. The day passed by lazily. We barely left the bedroom because we just didn't want to do anything. Same. It was rather relaxing, surprisingly. I knew we had to work on the wedding arrangements eventually, but today was not the day for that. We needed a day to ourselves, to remind each other that we were going to be together for a long time. It wasn't long before we found ourselves cuddling into each other's arms, taking a mid-afternoon nap. It was a sweet and peaceful drowsiness that lured both of us to close our eyes together. The darkness of my mind invited me to stay a while, and I gladly accepted its invitation. It felt nice, and I was enjoying the rest it gave my body. However, I soon saw that I was not alone in the dark. Oh! Hi, hi, hey, dude! Hi, hi! Your, your eyes are gold. Not purple. Damien slowly appeared before me and took my hand, kissing it gently. I felt myself shudder, but it wasn't his nude form or his kiss that surprised me. It was his eyes. My mind recognized those eyes, shivers shooting up my body from the sight. Instead of the loving and soft blue and purple his eyes usually were, they were a deep gold. They bore into my soul as Damien continued to keep his lips on my hand. Damien? <laughs> as Damien smirked against my skin, my body began to feel hot, making me curl into my body. I tried to pull my hand away from him, but he held it firmly, keeping his lips against my skin over the knuckles. No! What's happening? I recognized the feeling. He was enthralling me. Why was he doing this in my dream? Why was this happening? What is, what is happening? We continued to float in the darkness, his enthrallment invading my body as he held my hand to him still. What the fuck is this? I don't know. I had to make him let go. I had to. I mean, do we really have to? I mean, we Stop! I was finally able to pull my hand away, and I held it close to my chest. Damien stared in shock before something dark covered my eyes. What? Look out! Ta -da 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 -da. Huh? Same. From out of nowhere, Diana's voice rang through the air, followed by the sounds of an intense battle. I looked around the darkness, unsure of what was going on, but something did not feel right. As I stood, lost in the dark, I felt a heavy weight upon my back, forcing me down. Oh, it was good. A, a large boulder was pressing down on me, wanting to crush me beneath its weight. I fought against it, gritting my teeth as I struggled. A large grunt echoed over me, <laughs> forcing me <laughs> Oh, that was Diana. Sorry, Diana. <laughs> 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 Diana is strong, 
like ox. <laughs> you almost made me spit out my beer on my laptop. <laughs> I. Anyway. Oh, I clicked. Oh, wait, there's a back button. Thank God. A large grunt echoed over me, forcing me to look up and see Diana pushing at the boulder to get off of me. <laughs> Can't I'm laughing too much? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Why would Diana ever help me? Diana has heart, like ox. <laughs> Quickly, we forced it off of my body, and soon I found myself looking into the great hall of the Incubi's old castle in the Abyssal Plains. The interior was as regal as I remembered, but behind me was a broken down entrance where I assumed the boulder, the boulder, had originated. The boulder! However, Diana and I were not alone. Is she all right? Whoa. I wouldn't worry about her, you mistake. Hey! He's... <laughs> His hand looks like a hoof to me. <laughs> it does! <laughs> I stared at the demon lord and Damien stood squared off with each other. In the demon lord's hand was a large chain covered with dried blood and my stomach churned at the sight. She will never leave this world alive as long as I live. All right, so we'll just kill you. <laughs> I looked at Damien then back at the demon lord, then back at Damien, then back at the demon lord. What was going on? Why was Diana here? Why was I here? As the demon lord whipped his chain at Damien, Diana shot out a blast of purple energy, forcing it to ricochet away. Diana stepped in front of me and Damien, glaring hard at the demon lord, preparing another spell in her hands. Go with her. I'll deal with this once and for all. If I'm going to fall here... All of you will fall with me! Suck my dick. The demon lord, with a crazed grin, pointed his hand towards the ceiling and let out an angry howl, causing tremors and quakes to run through the room. Diana shot her hands upward and formed a purple barrier around our bodies, but she winced with each stone that fell and slammed into the barrier. I... I can't hold it! <laughs> This castle will be your grave! Alright, let's calm down, Demon Lord. <laughs> My instinct was to reach out and that hold on to Damien. That escalated quickly. <laughs> but before I could move, he grabbed my face and kissed me roughly. What? I stared- oh, What? <laughs> I stared at him, wondering what he was doing. But I kissed him back and dug my fingers into his shoulders. Was this dream going to end with us dying? Damien pulled away. I saw tears begin to form in his eyes. I stared as he gently pulled away from me and ran outside of Diana's barrier at the Demon Lord, picking up a fallen sword. Um, from no. What? With a courageous shout, Damien slashed at the Demon Lord, forcing him to quickly jump backwards toward the throne. Keep her safe. What? Um, are you insane? Damien, You're powerless against him. What are you doing? You're faster than me as a demon. I won't be able to get out of here fast enough for us both to survive. Damien! Oh, fuck this. I walked away in protest, and then I got more water. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure what was happening, but I didn't like what I was seeing. Why was Damien telling Diana to keep me safe? I watched as Damien looked at Diana with an affirmative glare and nod. Before I could question it, Diana ducked down and threw me over her shoulder. How she was able to be strong enough to perform such a feat was beyond me, but I was too thrown off here. No, don't say that! I mean, Just yes, he go. won't be- I mean, that, don't say it like that! I reached out to Damien. I don't like this dream. <laughs> I don't either! I reached out to Damien, losing track of what was happening as Diana began to run away from him, and the Demon Lord faster than a speeding car. Damien! Damien! I love you. No! No! I watched the tears run down Damien's cheeks as he reached back for me. But he remained where he stood. As Diana ran with me over her shoulder, the ceiling began to crumble within the hall, 
stone and glass falling all around the demon lord and Damien. Please don't. The world around me began to go into slow motion as I was reaching out to Damien, struggling in Diana's arms as she ran. Why was this happening? I can only watch as the demon lord approached Damien and quickly wrap- What the- What the fuck? What the fuck, my dude? I'm about to get up myself and walk away. <laughs> I could only watch as the demon lord approached Damien and quickly wrapped the chain around his neck, pulling him into the air and hanging him with it like an executioner's noose. Damien tried to place his feet on the demon lord while his fingers clawed at the chains, trying to find some purchase. Uh oh. As he managed to get his feet around the demon lord's neck, a large avalanche of stone and glass fell over their bodies hiding them from sight. I couldn't be sure, but it looked as if they had been crushed. No! The world around me broke apart as I began to scream in agony at what I was forced to witness. I couldn't have been real. I didn't want it to be real. I let the darkness of my dreams envelop me, as I mentally repeated over and over that this was not real. Once again, I was floating in darkness, curled with myself in overwhelming sadness. Why was this happening? Why was I being forced to see nightmare after nightmare? I dug my nails into my arms, wanting to wake up already. Please let me wake up. Please. As I felt my body begin to fall, I let go of my arms and tried to reach for something to stop my rapid descent. Ah! 